Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial of OpenCV by InsideYML. In this video, we are going to talk about threshold of an image. In daily life, we used to see a bloody image and we try to read out what is written in that, but we are not capable to read that. So image thresholding uh, comes into play. So that actually extracts the text out of that image and shows us in a clear form. We will be learning how we can implement that. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel of InsideML, then do subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss an update on artificial intelligence and machine learning. Let's get started. As usual, navigate through our Anaconda, go to Jupyter Notebook OpenCV in Vormin. This will take to our Chrome browser, we would be dealing with the things. And uh, we have covered all these setup in our earlier videos, so you can have a watch if you haven't gone with that. We go to open cv and we will go to image threshold you just go to new over here and open python 3 environment but we have uh, uh, i've already created so i will go to image threshold so up to now we have dealt with multiple things and in last video we were dealing with image filters bilateral filters box filter and filter 2d so if you haven't watched that do watch that also and go with the whole playlist so image threshold, okay, so OpenCV provides this function, this uh, particular facility to threshold an image. So it takes actually two, it gives output of two values, threshold and red world. So we didn't have to deal with that, we have to deal with threshold. So let's understand what is threshold, okay. So, so let's understand this is a particular image, okay. So we got the image and it's clearly visible by the way, okay. But we want it like to be clearly visible, all the extra colors to be like down and we just see these values, this written steps. So in this case, this uh, whole uh, threshold comes into help. It diminishes, it diminishes the extra colors, extra lines out of this image and only capture this particular values, this particular written things. And it shows the output and we are able to clearly see the things. So you can implement this in your daily life also. Let's see how it's actually implement. Uh, let's write the function. Uh, let's write the code and see the output of this particular image. So in this video, we won't be dealing with Mona Lisa image because uh, in that image, nothing is written. So we have to deal with that. This is something beautiful words and some painful words also. So yeah, so let's start. So first we will import our CV2 function and uh, so first we will import our cv2 function and then we will read our image using cv2.amrate function of opencv and that we will pass our image and uh, we are dealing with experiment dot jpg i have founded this picture on the internet you can uh, simply write some blurry thing on your copy on your notebook and try to uh, capture that image and try to work with that this will give you an a goosebumps like yeah you are you have really done something to like deal with that so we will take in a three channel uh, we have talked about channel this one means colorful image and if you put zero then it would be in the black and white after that we will simply use our function so it's like we take the variable read verb comma threshold well one thing to say to you like everything is all about math okay so everything is math so all the functions you are seeing, they are actually applying math in that and they are trying to calculate the particular stuff out of our image and then everything is happening, okay? So whatever you see in the life, in machine learning or in OpenCV, everything is math. So we talk about how image is a mattress and uh, how the data is, uh, how to deal with the data and how to actually change in data source, source the thing. So we talk about whole thing, so everything is math. Okay, so we make a variable ritual and threshold and uh, in that we will use our cv2 dot threshold function. We will pass our image in that and we will part the pass the value. Okay, so let's talk about the parameters in threshold. Okay, so this particular threshold actually shows that like uh, uh, we know that uh, we know that the intensities are from 0 to 255 and this particular threshold talk about like uh, uh, ask you for the value okay so it says that you put 125 or 120 then uh, before 125 it will change the whole color into white and um, after 125 it will change the whole color into black okay so it actually deals with that 
so this is how you can uh, this uh, uh, thrift uh, thrift value actually deals with okay what is max value we talk about the maximum value the color we want to put so we put 255 you can put 250 also you can't put after 255 because we know that the limited value of a color is of 2 g2 0 2 2 5 5 okay so we can put that and this is a particular functions which is provided by threshold so various functions are there boundaries there so all actually does something different task okay so you can try with that we will try with that so yeah so let's implement that okay so we will put our threshold to be uh, 120 that would be okay and max value 255 and let's use the binary function itself and it's already given then we will use other functions also so let's copy this up from here and put it over here there are various functions also so you can have a look at that and uh, yeah so after that what we have to do we have to use the amso function of cv2 so use cv2 dot am show in that we will pass our threshold as a uh, we will pass our tab name let's to be experiment and uh, we will pass our image source we have like worked on so th uh, so we worked on threshold and yeah and let's use our key so it's actually for the key is actually for like we are making uh, the whole table open in front of you we have to stop for that we have to stop that for a moment so for that it's actually okay so we will use cv2 dot wait key okay so this wait key stop for that moment if you put zero in that okay let's put five so we put five then it will stop for five seconds okay but uh, yeah so it will stop for five seconds let's to be like uh, put to be zero because we want to make it as a trigger so when we click something then it actually exit that in a particular moment so we will type f key equal to 81 means like if you press q i use q for quit so that will exit at that same moment okay so this is simple python syntax so put exit okay and now it's time to run and see our output okay so let's run this here we go now you have seen that the whole extra part is totally diminished you can see all the colors okay so see, you can see over here so the colors are totally changed into white or changed into black and now you can see the clear stuff so now you can see the things really clearly okay this is the use of a threshold uh, of a email so you can do this in your real life also and let's try to uh, use that other functions also so i talk about that so let's press so let's press q and exit this and let's change this particular thing so let's change to threshold to zero okay let's see what is actually doing over here so life is all about experiment do experiment with the things and you will love the you will love the stuff so let's run this and press the window button and now you can see it's actually didn't work that clearly so yeah so like every function is doing something different and it's putting some values also so this is all about this result function and apply in your life also and learn about OpenCV. this is a part of OpenCV. so yeah so in the next video we would be talking about contours and we would be experiment on the new things so see you in the next video and if you have any query then please put down in the comment box we will love to solve your queries and see you in the next video